Let's party! Don't you dare use the word party as a verb in this shop! Let's party! Don't you dare use the word party as a verb in this shop! Oh hi you guys and welcome to today's show. Today we are playing the spoopy but definitely not not dangerous or scary Curse of Strahd. Welcome one and all. Before we go round and welcome our magnificent cast, let's check out our social links and such. Uh, first of all, uh, our Discord. It's a wonderful place. If you're not already in it, you should be. It's a fantastic place where people, everyone, you know, loves each other and hugs each other and looks after each other and... Honestly, I'm really proud of them. I'm really proud to brag about my Discord community. They're just lovely. Um, and Twitter, if you guys want to get into D&D, if you want to come and have a go, that is what this channel's all about. We're all about getting new and returning players into D&D. So pop me a DM on Twitter and I'll get you in a space in one of our games this season. We have about 50 spots left for new players this season. So send me a DM and I'll get you in a game. Uh, and YouTube is catching up very, very quickly. So... Um, yeah, watch out for that. And I'm sorry if you if you have me um, on notification on on YouTube and this weekend you got like 50 notifications of videos going out. But um, at least you know I'm working on it, right? Um, we are now full time, and as such, um, we rely on your uh, your support. And thank you very much for all the support, as it has been very very forthcoming. Um, you can see in our monthly costs at the bottom of the table, we uh, we have hit half of our half of our monthly costs and half the stream, which is incredible support. Thank you so much. You can also support us over on Patreon. Thank you for that sub. I saw you saying that you would uh, you sub for the Tash. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, we also have merchandise, uh, and you can also support us by supporting our sponsor, Bird in the Storm Publishing. Um, there's their links there, um, but also they will be producing content for us as well in the new year. Um, they will be creating filler content for between our episodes, which um, is very, very exciting. Um, lastly, we have a tweet today, and every 10 retweets, um, which I need to correct because we do not have 15 already. Every 10 retweets, we get a wild magic surge. That, however, is me finished rambling. Uh, let's go around and say hello to our wonderful cast today. Uh, why don't we start with the wonderful Madam Gandalf? Oh, hi, Madam. How are you? Oh, hi. I'm doing well. I've uh, been having a really good week, going through a big nostalgia trip of things that I have no nostalgia for, but everybody else seems to feel nostalgic for it. So, hey, it works. And yeah, I'm really excited to be here and play some more of uh, Suri and her sibling with her sibling in crime and her werewolfy ways and her bobcat friend and her royal escort and it's just all it's all coming to uh, fruition right before our eyes and I'm excited to see where this dark yet uh, sometimes light-hearted part of our journey will take us i mean last week we were digging up graves and things like that so it can only get better than that that's barovia <laughs> uh so we'll go around the screen so we'll go next to the wonderful a kelly lane oh hi kelly oh hi um so i'm a kelly lane on twitter today i'm playing talia who's our 
half elf, uh, daughter of a noblewoman. Um, and I'm excited to be here. Are we doing like recap? What are we doing? I missed. You don't, you don't have to do a recap. You can just introduce cool. your player uh, because Alice lost the recap game. So Alice will be, um, <laughs> Alice will be doing the recap. Apparently she was checking. I had the right tweet for me. Thank you, darling. So appreciated, but also <laughs> because you always get it wrong. But now I fucked up. <laughs> doesn't change the fact that you lost the game. Um, so yeah, just just. Uh, I thought I lost. If you guys were watching on stream, you could see the moment that I thought I lost and then realized I hadn't. <laughs> so um, thank you. Uh, are you playing Talia? Very much looking forward to that. Hmm. We have already hit 10 retweets, by the way. Uh, incredible show of support there. There'll be plenty more of that comes from, I hope. Uh, 12 says Potato Hollow. I'll take his word for it. Uh, next around the screen, we have Old Baby 190 or Rachel, as we know her. Oh, hi. Hello, star. Uh, yeah, hi. My name is Old Baby 190 or Rachel, whatever you want to call me. And I will be playing Sophie today in this magical world of Strahd with my companion. So... Looking forward to uh, <laughs> not digging up more graves today, even though that was Sophie's calling. There was really something there for her. She, if this adventure thing doesn't work out, she's definitely going to go back and be like, yo, do you guys, uh, you need some some help over here? Because I, I got you covered. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to, to see what happens today. And uh, let's do this thing. Awesome. So last but most certainly not least, my wonderful wife, and headmistress of the academy, Alice, who not only is going to introduce us to her character, Bob, but also uh, give us a short recap. I will try to give you a recap, because Bob didn't listen. But I play Bob, I play a changeling, who is effectively Talia's bodyguard. Um, and since finding a kitten seems to quite like the tabaxi form most of the uh, Last week... Uh, we met the very crazy lady in the tent who reeled off a lot of uh, prophecies and hints and clues, which Bob didn't listen to at all because Bob just knew we needed to find a sword and then we could leave. Um, which led to spending a long time digging up graves and like Sophie was so enthusiastic with it that we had to physically stop her. Um, Bob found half a sword didn't think to notify Sophie as she continued to dig before being attacked by loads of wolves. And if I remember correctly, I know Bob got badly damaged and was for the rest of the day until he got healed, was pissed off that he was then dragging or hobbling his leg everywhere, um, which later led us to a healer in a church, which wasn't creepy at all. And an ominous knocking that happened on the on the floor from below and we could hear a voice asking for help and saying they were hungry and a very i guess just a slightly crazy uh, priest who i can't quite remember what we did to him but i don't remember where he went i just remember then he was no longer a problem um, i think he was just like sitting there like he's yeah, just like, being he crazy in the corner do that you left him pray <laughs> okay that's fine then. um and then sophie and suri they ended up finding a trapdoor to this place and when we all found all sort of burst our way in this son this boy who was probably a little less human than we expected, was crouched down on all fours, hissing before he made a run for it. And I think that's where we finished. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, the church's undercroft has rough-hewn walls and a floor made of damp clay and earth. Uh, rotting wooden pillars strain under the weight of the wooden ceiling, and candlelight from the chapel above slips through the cracks, allowing you to glimpse a gaunt shape in the far corner. Uh, the shape as you approach, hissed at you, and then made a break for it, saying, I can smell your blood! That was it. <laughs> and you're back in the game. What do you do? Bob will watch it run by. <laughs> Just literally. <laughs> it's making a break for the open door behind you. Should I stop it? 
<laughs> Siri's going to be standing there with her two like knives in the air, like kind of like looking between like Talia and Bob and Sophie, like what to do at this point. Just reflexively, Sophie's going to take her other dagger and fling it at him. <laughs> oh, would you I like? Guess we're stopping him. <laughs> it's more of a re. She's just gr- when something runs, you throw something at it. And what was she holding? Her dagger. So she's just gonna. Bing! Like the cow all over again. Oh, this is much worse. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm sure this will be fine. Um, why don't you make me an attack roll? Alright. My dagger. Do you want me to do just like base stats for it? Or do you want me to add the dagger throw to it? Because I have a plus five. Add the plus five! Add the right. plus five, yeah. You've got decks and stuff. You're good at throwing daggers. 18. To Ooh, hit. an 18 to hit. That does indeed hit. Okay. How much damage do you do? That's uh, 1d4 plus 3, and that was a 3, so 6 damage. 6 points of damage. You strike the creature, and it lets out a loud hiss from above. You hear... Thank you for the sub. Uh, from... <laughs> oh my good once. god. Uh, Ooh, Sora! Sora! <laughs> Someone's oh, trying wow. to beat it. Someone's trying to beat the subfather. We have an, a subfather for the evening, I think, for now. Um, sub daddy. The sub, the sub daddy. <laughs> um, so, um, there will just be dancing cats for the next five minutes. Thank you so, <laughs> so much. Uh, those of you who are in chat, if you've just been gifted a sub, um, you can uh, make it a nat one or a nat twenty to gift to the players. If you don't respond in the next 10 minutes, I'll dish them out randomly. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, wait, Mr. Magenta, that's my dad. <laughs> my dad got a son. I got Gandad. <laughs> Gandad. <laughs> I, love, I love Gandad on streams, by the way, as well. Yeah. Like, I think the way you two talk around each other is just brilliant. I think it's great. Um, anyway, back to the thing at hand. So this strikes the creature in the back, and he's not best pleased. From above, you can hear Donovich, the babbling priest, go, no, 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 cannot be, no, uh, the, the creature, it must be held in the thing. And you hear the door to the undercroft slam shut and a bolt slide home. No, we're in there. Bobby's gonna go, hey, you crazy dude, open up! The, the light of the father, the father of the fifth, the fifth and the father of the fifth, the vampires and the, the blood, the blood in the walls, the blood in the, the blood drip, dripping, dripping from the ceilings and dripping down the, the walls. And, like, Bob starts knocking on the door, just quite busy. Hello? Hello? I think uh, Talia's gonna see if she can muscle her way through, even though it's What is blocked. that little thing doing? Aww. What is the boy doing with that dagger in his uh, back? What it, is he doing? It, like, hobbles towards the door and bangs on it, and then... Literally, as it realizes that it can't get out, its eyes turn back to you all slowly. Like the same door we're you, banging on? See, yeah, you see it's- Yeah, we're all trapped underneath together. You see its fangs elongate as it looks towards you. And I'd like you all to roll the initiative, please. Oh, I, just oh, wanted, no! I just wanted to punch it. <laughs> Wait, no, I've recorded- oh, fine, fine, oh god. Someone grab my dagger, please. That was a nat one on initiative. <laughs> oh no! Wait, where's my dice? There's Say my it dice. ain't so. Say it ain't so. <laughs> that 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 you can't put that down as a four. And that one's a that one, Sophie. You know this. Like, wait, really? Did, I didn't know that nat ones did that with initiative. Yeah, okay. nat ones and that one. Yeah. Same as a nat All twenty. Right. Nat twenty would be right. modified. Yeah. All right, then that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll live. You'll be fine. <laughs> so Bob and Talia springing into action. It'll be you two first, then this creepy vampire spawn child, um, and uh, oh, and that twenty for the initiative roll. Sorry, sorry, you were just slightly too late. But if you uh, gift the net twenty to someone, we can give it to them for them to use as we go. Um, Madam Gandalf, and then Rachel last. So Bob, what do you do? Bob is sort of just going to pull out his rapier and sign, just like, oh, for God, I, I hate this place, and just <laughs> and swipe. And... Please do. 
Uh, nat 20, please. Nat Double. 20? Nat 20. <laughs> you hit it with a nat 20. Uh, wow! Yeah, you do. Um, that's that's 11 points of damage that it just takes on the chin. Uh, you see its skin begin to heal up as you uh, hit it straight away. Uh, unless, of course, is your weapon silvered? Can I say it is now? <laughs> no. I don't, I don't think it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> as I, like, Bob watches it heal, she's like, oh. And sort of, like, checks his sword. And looks at the weird hissing creatures. That, that normally kills them. Wait, 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 it's doing the same thing that Siri did. And she points over at Siri where that big uh, gash was. It's no longer there. How, how did you do it? If I poke you with this, will you heal? And it's sort of. So he's like, oh, give it a try. Just a little, just a little scratch, just a little. That, Didn't we really be like killing this thing? It's dead, guys. As I say, do, is, do you want to use your bonus action to do that, there, Alice? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna just swipe again. Just be like, oh, that doesn't work. I'll try again. Uh, it depends. Do you have a second attack at this level? You know, I don't know because I appear to have not written it down. <laughs> I don't, unless you have an offhand weapon, I don't think you do. Offhand? What do you mean by that? Uh, like? A hand, a we like a dagger in your other hand. Um, I have a short bow. <laughs> Can I use my feet? I'm afraid you can't use your feet. No. Okay. So then it will be Talia's turn. And you're all level one, right? This is four level one yeah. characters versus a vampire spawn. This is going to go well. Yay! <laughs> Four level one characters with no silvered weapons, I don't think. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> no magic to speak of. Okay, uh, so Talia has a great sword slung across her back, so she's going to pull that sucker out. Um, oh, and miss. <laughs> uh, we should probably note that... Um, <laughs> Helpfully for your four level one characters, um, Maladiel did donate ten pounds to give me five nat ones. Okay. Also, well, thank uh, you. summing up, I have one nat twenty and six nat ones. <laughs> um, Alice, you have a nat twenty. Rachel, you have two nat twenties. Kelly, you have two nat twenties. And Alex, you have a nat twenty and a nat one. Bingo. Not that I'm suggesting anything should be done with those at all. <laughs> So with your nat one swing of your great sword, the uh, creature ducks out of the way and it lunges onto you, uh, going forward to try and bite. Can I give it a nat one? Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it misses with a bite. A lot of these. <laughs> uh, then it tries to attack you with its claws. <laughs> oh, frick. Um... Okay. You're going to take the claw attack? Cool. Um... Does a nine beat your armor class? No. No. Then uh, you are you are safe. Uh, next up, <laughs> Siri. So I t like attire wise, do we have like travelers cloaks, things like that? Uh, yeah, I guess. Then I would like to toss my cloak over the top of it. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! If I can't now see, you see it, it. <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> so what exactly are you hoping to achieve here? Blind it, maybe? <laughs> like, <laughs> if you throw the cloak over it, you can kind of then like try and hold it down so it's is arms. this like when babies like cover their face and they're like i can't see you can't see me like is it kind of yeah. like that well, like, when i put a blanket on my it's dog exactly and then it like really it. struggles because it can't find its way out <laughs> no, I, I mean okay I'll, i will demonstrate with this tissue so pretend that these are the two arms of like the thing and like you know its head is like like here right so it's got two arms like that and ghost. you throw like like a blanket over it and you try to like hold it in together so that it's like oh no i can't i can't this move okay 
We learn something every day. Yeah. I would like uh, a strength check for this, maybe an athletics check. And also, thank you very much, Potato Hollow, who gives you each two nat 20s. Jeez. I will use my nat 20 on this. Perfect. Uh, you you managed to restrain, <laughs> but I do, of course, get to... Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll nat 20 this strength check against you. Or maybe you'll nat 1 it. That one was called before I rolled, so we'll use it. Um, you are stuck in a cloak. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Drake donates for an extra nat 20 for Madam. And one for you, Alice. Or the headmistress as he correctly addresses you. Um, I'm adding those now, but yes, essentially you managed to restrain the vampire spawn using your blanket. <laughs> See, straw, it's gonna be easy. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that worked! <laughs> Tally's gonna look and be like, now what do we do? <laughs> go it! Go it! Go it! Just bash it on the head or something! No, no, no! Grab it, grab it, grab it! Don't, don't, don't bash me! I, I'm so hungry! Please, don't, don't kill me! You! You're asking us not to bash you, but you were gonna hurt us! No, I, I was just hungry. I was just gonna have a little nibble. I wouldn't eat you completely. So. Oh, how kind of you! Is this a vampire? Uh. What are you? I. I am. Do Doru, I am Donovich's son. Yes, but what are you? Why do you hiss at me? Like, I, I am what I'm currently at the taxi, but that's what I am. What are you? What? What are you, boy? I am a vampire, I guess. Okay, so you're the bitey thing is okay. Well, I, there, I can't. There. We can't really let you out if you're going to bite. Well, us. no, hang, hang on. Um, a little more than a year ago, uh, we stormed Castle Ravenloft in a revolt. We were lured there by a wizard in black robes who came to Barovia from a faraway land. Uh, the, the wizard died by Strahd's hand, and I guess I did too. Strahd returned me to my father. Like this. Um, my, my Do you understand why we don't let you out of the blanket? My father trapped me down here, and he hasn't fed me since. This was... Wow. This is... This is for me. Thank you, you guys. But are you doing this through... Is Hang on, are you shocked at something, or is this the face the kid is pulling through the blanket? Like Sorrow will just donated £100. Are we all gonna die now? Um, no, he doesn't say anything about donating with things, he just says this world needs more DMs. Sora! Sora! I'll close my mouth now, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh. Thank you. Thank you so much, okay. Please ask for something. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to give any wild magic surgery yeah, or something, like, I'll punish the players for you, I will. I was going to say, like, if you really want to give, like, a whole load of nat ones to... Hang on. Yeah. What am I doing? Um... <laughs> uh, Donovich prays day and night, uh, trying to save me, I guess, but he hasn't fed me since I've been down here. It's been nearly a year. I'm just so hungry. Just just a little bit. Just let from your veins. Just Just a small amount. I don't think you'll get this. We don't, you don't just go and bite people. It's rude. Is it only blood you can have? Uh. Because I'm sure that someone could make you a sandwich. I can smell the blood in your veins. Which is why you remain under the blanket. A long fingernail 
that looks as though it's been gnawed into a sort of claw. Just sort of like tears through. Just a little blood. Like it just pokes through the through oh, the blanket. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Bob, kick him, kick him, kick him or something. Ta him. Talia's gonna try and see if she can muscle her way out of the door since he's not by the door anymore. Um. That's just creepy, right? No, I don't think this is normal. I mean, it might be for this weird place. Just, to just, me, this is not normal. Just some blood. Just just a little. If Both you try to take any of our blood, I'm gonna break your teeth off so you can't do any of that, that, that bitey thing. You could stick corks in them. Stick what in them now? Corks. Oh, corks. Oh, that's what you said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob will reach in and draw out the broken sword. Just out of interest and sort of like hold it near him like, does this do anything to you? Doing what, sorry? I'm taking out the broken sword that Sophie so furiously tried to find and dig up in the graveyard but didn't find that Bob found. No, not, not that, no. Oh, oh it hisses, like the cat. And he's just like, he's putting the sword closer to see. Uh, above, you suddenly hear an, an, the door slide open and it opens a little. And Donovich says to you, are you hurting my boy? We are very much trying not to, but he's making it a little difficult. Quickly, quickly, tie him off and, and get out of there. Are there, like... He, I mean, he was loose when we came down. Is there something to tie him up with? <laughs> well, if any of you adventurers have rope with you. <coughs> I think we do. Spoke Sophie especially. Spoofy. Spoofy especially. <laughs> Who is both? I was an eagle scout. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> nice eagle <to go> knot. <laughs> Someone, if Bob, if you want to do that thing where you, you, you're big and strong and tall and stuff, just make sure you oh, hold him. I can hug him. I can my, he just like <laughs> ambles over. You can just... feel him struggling against the bonds. Um, would you like to um, make an athletics check, please? You me? Yes. And uh, after this little uh, rampage of donations, uh, each of you have around four or five nat 20s, and I have around four nat 1s. But Alice rolled it. Mm -hmm. And so did I. And he just about breaks free from your grasp. He's still in the sheet, but he is free. He's like, no. Uh, and he begins rushing towards the door where um, Donovich is. Father, please, I can, I can be safe. <laughs> Oh, oh. I just sort of reach over and go, no, no, back under the blanket. And I just pull the blanket back over. <laughs> and can Talia step in his Ooh. way? So he like can't get to the door. Like she wants to be between him and the way out. Uh, yes, you can. Doing so will reinitiate combat. Yeah. Can I not? Can I not? Nat 20 him under the blanket? <laughs> well, you already rolled your competitive athletics, so it's now up to someone else. <laughs> I I see him running and I would like to use one of my nat 20s it's to grab the blanket and jump, use Suri as a launch pad and jump <laughs> into the air and land on him with the blanket. Yes, indeed. You can certainly do that. <laughs> this is like when a cat gets under a blanket and it's like, oh my God, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I think I saw Art of Nixie and um, and uh, and uh, Ricky sort out their nat 1s or 20s earlier, but I didn't see the others. So we have eight more. Um, so first of all, here comes 8d4. We'll do it in order that we were introduced, where Madam is 1 and Alice is 4. Um, and then let's do some let's do some rolling here. Oh, Sora, anytime you want a spot, bud, let me know. We'll get you in a game. No problem. 
Control C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, Sophie gets a nat one. Uh, Talia gets a nat two. Madam gets a nat one. Sophie gets another nat one. Uh, Bob gets a nat twenty. Uh, Talia gets another nat 20. Sophie gets another nat 1. <laughs> and uh, and Madam gets a nat 1. This is karma for those graves. It is, man. It is. The dead are At least I use my nat 20 on a damn blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, what are you doing? You've restrained him. I am. She's like holding on for dear life around his neck in this blanket. Just. Yeah, and with the nat 20, you've, you've got him good. Using my dagger in his back as like a footstool. <laughs> um, Tally's gonna try and tie him up, I guess. She doesn't want to hurt him, but it seems like this is like the only option is to get him back under control. So, what do I need to roll? Like, strength or something? Uh, to try and tie him off, sorry? Yeah. Um, I would like a sleight of hand check, but with your intelligence modifier instead of your dexterity modifier. Oh, so it'll be whatever this is, minus one. So, 18. 18, that's, that's pretty good. You <coughs> managed to tie a, a, a knot and uh, tie him off, and he's sort of, like, stumbling around and falls to the floor. Please, I'm so hungry, please! We just- I'm so sorry, we just- I, I can't let you start eating people! <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah. Come, come, before he breaks free, nothing ever holds him long. Get out, get out! Why do oh. you keep him down here? I pray for a way to fix him! Do you know of a way? Well, no, that's why I pray. <laughs> well, that's something I can understand. <laughs> and but he's tied up, so I can jump off, right? You can jump off. Uh, oh but God. Donovich is trying to hurry you out. He says that nothing yeah. ever seems to hold him long. And before long, you see another one of these claws poke through the blanket and begin just tearing oh, a hell. shred. Hell no. I'm going <laughs> to grab my dagger and jump out of there. I've had that Rip for years. Back. Sorry, sorry, that was a nice blanket. So, I guess Talia's gonna, like, suggest Mom, that, like, doing? suggest everyone leave. <laughs> yeah, he's managed to wrangle him again. He can do it, do it himself, right? We could just... Well, we're just going upstairs. We can talk about okay, this then. upstairs. <laughs> We're not going home yet. You know we have so much to do, Bob. <coughs> it just sort of frowns. Like, <sighs> Fine. And uh, Talia will make her way upstairs. Bob will follow very closely. Quickly, 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 come on! Siri will first go up to the like vampire son and just be like, Look after that. It's very important to me. No more scratching through it. If you're gonna take it off, just delicately, delicately. And then just go okay, okay, stab him. Can Let's you go. make me a Deli dick save, please, Deli Siri? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh for God's sake. <laughs> 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 oh, thing is at it again. <laughs> Why did I tie this knot so tight? <laughs> well, on your dice bag? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was out of habit. Out of habit. <laughs> That's okay, point. okay. Um, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. That is a very good. As... Uh, you spring backwards as uh, the vampire's hand tears through the rip towards you. <laughs> Just a little 
little blood, just a little. And I guess that's at that point where she, Suri is about to start trying to talk again, but Sophie is like dragging. Like, you touched my sister, I'm gonna throw a dagger at you again. Knock it off. <laughs> and so you exit the undercroft. Once outside, Donovich slams the door closed and bolts it across. I'm gonna kick it. Come, we must Stop. spend a night in prayer. Uh, Come, come, into the into the main chapel. We shall pray together um, above Dorovich. Above Do- Doro. What, what do you, what are we praying for? I don't pray. Well, we can, we can pray for, uh, retribution. From what? Our sins. <laughs> <laughs> All and- right. When they all laugh, Talia, like, looks very serious. Oh, no. I was laughing at Madame Gadda. I'm sorry. (laughs) 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 Oh, I mean, probably Suri will literally laugh, like, after, like... It seemed very in character, (laughs) so I just assumed. (laughs) Bob is just sort of flunked down on, like, a pew. He's like... Oh, his long arms like resting on his knees and just sort of hanging over the edge like so is this like pray thing mandatory uh, or... no not mandatory but uh, Fantastic. Uh, ab- absolution of your sins may bring clarity of mind Did you hear the say... funk of metal against wood from the main chapel from the from the floor Sophie, as you look that way, you will see. I took my dagger back, though. <laughs> did you? I said, yes! Did you? I did. I said I grabbed it. I well, grabbed then, it when I took off his back. In oh. that case, let's have a retrospective uh, athletics or acrobatics okay. check to try and grab it. Oh. oh. Can I do acrobatics? Yes, yes, you could do either. Cool. cool. All right, that was a fifteen plus three. There is a funk of metal as the dagger hits the floor from underneath. Uh, you unfortunately did not manage to grab the dagger, and uh, the vampire spawn now has it in its possession. What is that? Do you guys hear that? Like, do we see a blade coming up through the floor? Just a little point. Just a little point coming through. Is there oh, any, like, crap. wood or anything from this rundown? I will literally pick up a plank and just start hitting the lead. The <laughs> like a pew? Down. Like, if I could lift a pew. <laughs> like... <laughs> like, oh, actually, could I try, as the blade comes up, could I try and grab it and just keep hold of it? Like, because I want to see what he does. Like, I want a nat 20 it, and I want to do, like, karate kid, like, style. On the... <laughs> I mean, you can grab it. I'll let you do that with your nat 20, but you will take damage from the blade. How much damage are we talking? <laughs> Standard weapon damage. Oh, God. Okay, I probably won't try catch the blade. Um... How does the priest dad react to this <laughs> you gave him a weapon no i think he stole the weapon <laughs> and you see bob climbing on a pew so he doesn't have to stand wherever this blade might come through the floor <sighs> what to do you see that? the cat hop up on the back of the pew and climb next to bob <laughs> <sighs> what to do what to do what to do uh, father, father of the blood, the blood and the You haven't killed him yet. How do you kill one such as he? Do you have a crucifix? No, what, a what? Oh, like, it's one of those, like, tea things, right? Yeah, it's like got a tea and Paylor, like, sometimes shines upon it. Uh, no, we have... Uh, Garlic? The- um, garlic is garlic is forbidden in these in these places. Um, what? What do you cook with? That is a shame. Garlic is delicious. Garlic goes oh, in okay. everything. It's like onions. What? It, yeah. What? What have you? What have you tried killing him with? What have you tried doing? I haven't tried I killing tried him at all. He's my son. 
I well, wish to find a way to heal him. Bad. I will heal him. No, I had stories growing up. If you stick a stake into their heart, that heals <gasps> them. Ooh, steak. Not that kind of steak. Hey. Oh. Alice, are you are you try is Bob trying to uh convince him that that is a way to heal him? No, Bob is like reeling off Bob has it's more that Bob has misunderstood something from like a tale he was told, like curing them was killing them younger. So he's misunderstanding what the person says. I have heard that driving a stake through his heart will end his life. Well, that cures him, doesn't it? You're a man of God. You want him to go to the next world? No, I wish to keep him here and heal him. I don't think he can be healed. He can be healed! Alright, alright. He can How be healed. How do you know this? The gods shall give me a way. Okay, like, how long have you been asking them for one? About a year. The Morning oh. Lord will provide a way. <clears throat> Sorry. When was their last a morning? Talia, you, you, you talk to, you talk to gods and stuff, right? That's like a thing that you do? That's what nobles do, right? Yeah, nobles, so you got time for it. Yeah. I, uh, I talk to my goddess regularly. Although, when she speaks back, it's not nearly so direct. It's... Okay, that's super weird. But, like, what's the, what's the, what's the process of, like, like, is it, like, a year-long process? Like, is he overdue? What's, is there, like, paperwork? Do you need, like, a fancy quill? Oh, paperwork. <laughs> it depends on the will of the gods. They... They don't always act in the timely fashion. And sometimes yeah. we just have to wait for the signs. Yes, the signs. They, they will surely provide a sign. Talia, I can tell you, will, you understand my plight. The Morning Lord will provide me with a way. When I... When I've tried to reach my goddess here, though, there is a... It's as if the mist is getting in between us. A Can film, a film like thick oil that yes. covers your every yes. prayer. I have felt it too. And so I don't, I don't know if they can hear us here. I fear that is Strahd's curse upon the land. So maybe, maybe the only way to heal your boy is to do what we're already set out to do. Kill Strahd. We tried so that a year this. ago. We did try. But did you have a blanket? Because that worked really well. You could cure him with a steak. <sighs> mm. My boy is nothing compared to Strahd. But like, how? Aren't they the same thing? He is merely a spawn uh, released to me as a cruel game by Strahd. And what is Strad? Strad is a vampire lord eternal. He. Made so he's the big man. Some sort of covenant with the gods years ago, so that he may never die. There are tales in the past that we have had peace when adventurers have slain him, but it is fleeting for Strad always returns. So they didn't actually kill him if he came back. So but I don't think that's how that works. Kill something that can't die. I tell you what, the logic here is just... <laughs> um... Sophie's gonna mimic Bob's hand gesture. <laughs> and Suri will mimic Sophie mimicking Bob's <laughs> gesture. And then suddenly we're all doing the wave. Um... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sort of Chinese mimicry <laughs> going on here. Um, Bob is suspicious. <laughs> That's a hashtag. Um, there's, there's like a little pop up in the corner. <laughs> Bob is suspicious. Bob is suspicious. suspicious. It's just the bubble for that. <laughs> I can't bubble remember that exactly. Okay. Uh, 
Suri is going to start kind of looking around the room, looking for signs. He's kind of like picking things up and putting them down. And Tell me. Sometimes. Are any of you injured? I have some skill with healing. You already healed my leg. I'm good. I did. Yes, this is why I can do this now. And he starts, like, going up and down onto each leg. While standing <laughs> on a pew. Uh, on a pew. <laughs> with the other cat. <laughs> I couldn't do that before. Bob, made for the circus, I tell you. So you ever think about like just reading those weird fantasy vampire novels or something? They usually they usually kill them with something. You just try one of those or uh, I, I, I know you don't want to kill your son, but with the the big guy, the straw dude. And Tanya's gonna interject and just be like, "Well, Madam Eva gave us signs. She yeah, managed she to pierce little... the veil." And no. Well, she was right about the first one, sort of. The sword, we did find it. Wait, 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 Bob, you... That thing hissed at you when you pulled that thing out, <laughs> didn't it? What was that about? Maybe you didn't like that it was broken? Hmm. I and... thought they were scared of steaks and garlic and... Was your son like a weapons connoisseur? Does he like really not like broken shit or how does that work? Mm. What Let is me this see. Made of? Let me see. And starts looking ah, at that. I, I mean, <laughs> I am no expert, but if it harms the vampires, it could be the sword of sunlight, the sun sword, a powerful relic. In the fight against Strahd. That sounds about right. So is this thing used before in one of the other times that people couldn't kill him? I do not know. It has been many years since it has been seen. And it is in disrepair. You should find someone to repair it. Where is the other half? I do not know. Do you know someone who could repair it? If we were to find the other pieces? I do not. Well, mm -hmm. maybe. Maybe if we find it, maybe we can stand a chance against. Strahd and oh, this is very big, isn't it? I didn't realize coming to Barovia would be quite like this. Can we not come back next year, please? <laughs> Let's worry about getting out first. <laughs> Could <sighs> Talia and Suri in this moment of peace and tranquility? Please both roll me a 1d 485 for a wild magic surge. Ooh. Oh, Kelly, you look so upset by it. <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> Fine. I just can't. I, I can never remember the roll 20, like, code. Man, I'll put it in dash. Thank you. That didn't help anything. I just heard a bunch of people say letters. <laughs> Thank you. Which is hilarious because, like, in my real life, I do like bioinformatics and I like do computer programming all the time, and I can't remember how to things. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, both real low. That's scary. <laughs> oh, that means I did them. Yeah, that's why it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> They're not all bad, I swear. <laughs> Okay. Bob. No, not Bob. Wait, not Bob, sorry. Suri. I'm going to make note of that one. And if it becomes relevant, we'll use it. 
Yay. <laughs> Speaking of wild magic surges, can Talia still, like, jump, like, twice as high? <laughs> is, that, is that a permanent effect? <laughs> uh, it will probably have worn off by now, I imagine. Okay. We'll say they last this session. Um, there is a mirror in this room, Talia. Okay. You can see the whole group in the mirror. But you can't see yourself. That's spoopy. Um. <laughs> I think she would be initially startled. Like, just... Uh, and then, and like, try not to draw attention to it. When you're initially startled, please make me a stealth check for Donovich not to realize what you are startled by. Eighteen. He's sort of like just. Anyway, it's getting late. There is a good inn in town where you could stay the night. There's not. The deal with the cups. Yes, the blood on the vine. We were there before. Yeah. But it we do really need to rest. The best inn in Barovia. Is it the only inn in Barovia? Yes. Okay. That shouldn't be your selling point for tourists. Just uh, throw that out there. Um, About the uh, dagger thing, by the way. Yeah, yes. if you could get that back for me at some point, that'd be swell. If not, it's fine. Sort of. But sorry. I, I think it will take <laughs> I'm him a... sure he won't figure it out how to use it. I'm well. sure it'll take him a very long time to chip through that floor. Exactly. See? Positive thinking. I like it. Okay. Hopefully in that time I will be gifted the solution please. yeah maybe in like another year when your god gets uh, back looks like we've got an unmade raid coming in no raid notification but hey raiders <laughs> welcome um cool uh so yeah you guys what, what would you like to do next are you gonna stay here with donovich Oh, Bob does not like him. Bob is leaving. Oh, by the way, if you wanted to get um, face things for Donovich and Yuri. Looks like we got a new friend! Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. No. He's larger Pleasure. than I imagined. <laughs> I thought everyone was very hungry here. <laughs> no, I eat well, thank you. Um, Bob will leave, or at least go to the door, and then look at the others. Are you coming? Um, and be before Talia follows Bob, she would just go to the, the to the priest and just say, "Best of luck. I hope we reach them soon." And kind of nod her head and walk off. Look around just one more time before I leave to see where to see if what's his face is still messing with the dagger under the ground oh you can hear like snarling and all sorts down there like... look over and just dang it walk out what is with all the love tonight you guys it's another five gifted subs from 2 to 12 thank you <laughs> guys if you've just been gifted a sub um then um <laughs> Uh, if you've just been gifted a sub, then you can gift a nat 1 or a nat 20 to one of our players. Um, and if you don't do it within like the next 10 minutes or so-ish, um, I will dish them out at random. Last time I dished them out at random, Alex and Rachel both got free nat 1s. Yay! Thanks, everyone! <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so um, what would you like to be doing? Bob then looks at the halfling saying, 
Well, do you think the tavern is better than here? At least, as far as we know, there's no... I saw gestures, like the teeth, like, <laughs> no bitey people in there. Yeah, I don't think we'll get stabbed while we're sleeping, like, from underneath, either. No. No, they oh. may just stab from above. That's, that's, oh, that's possible. Oh, oh, could we just all sleep in the same room? Just for safety reasons? I would advise it. Maybe Great. somebody should take watch. I mean, I'll take watch. I... So I don't, I mean, from past experience, I'm, I'm pretty bad at it. I think I, I'm pretty bad at it, <laughs> but I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, then I will go. Wait, okay, wait, we can do this. Um, is there like sticks or anything like that I can grab? Or like. Sure, why not? What? Cool. Let's Could have been the wood still, right? Grab some sticks, yeah. All right. She's gonna pull out, like, grab some sticks, hold them all here, like, all right, pick one. There's four sticks in there. And Talia will listen. She pulls out a stick. Bob just doesn't really get it, but slowly reaches and just pulls out <laughs> a stick. And I guess Suri's going to make sure that she has the longest stick. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, so I will go last. Sophie will go second to last. Bob will go first and Talia will go second. <laughs> Judging no. on the length of your sticks. I could do all of it. I don't mind. Oh, then good night. Well, well, let's get to the tavern first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we head to the tavern. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we're walking. Yeah. We head to the tavern and Try and see if we can get a room. I sort of burst in, make a bit of it, like, I think Bob's tired and also wants yes. people to know he's there because he's just like no sneaking up or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's a bit of a walk back to the uh, main tavern. You'll have to go through several almost suburban areas. Um, have any of you been drawing a map of this area as you've been going through? We got a map. Did you now? From the Eva lady. No, from the guy in the tavern with the sister that oh, yeah. wants yeah. us to get out. He gave us a map so we could find him again. There you go. Uh, so, <laughs> you uh, using your map, you can easily work your way towards um, the Blood on the Vine talent, tavern. Point, a uh, quick question. Um, was the map that he gave us just of, like, town? Just of town. Okay. <clears throat> well, we can find our way around town, no problem. <laughs> and so Bob has burst in. Is that right? Yeah, Bob has just stormed right in. And I think Talia follows much quiet, more, much quieter on his heels and, is, and looks at the guy behind the counter, I guess. Because he's the only one really in there, right? <laughs> Welcome. Copper a cup, silver a pitcher. How much for a room for the night? Five silver. And she'll... I think she has that much, so she'll pull it out and she'll just pay it. She's tired, she's not gonna argue with him. <laughs> Follow me. He reaches under the uh, desk. Uh, how many staying? Four of us. He pulls out four sets of towels and begins <gasps> walking up the stairs. Maybe we'll get a bath. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this is a fancy place. One of those. 
I have to tell. That's the bath here. But wait, wait, wait. The water could be cold and it could be gross. Mm. Stay watchful. It could be poison. Talia's just going to follow him <laughs> while they it discuss. Could, <laughs> it could be deadly, like everything else in this place. Uh, no, he enters the room. He puts the towels on the only bed in the room and uh, walks over to uh, a pipe. Uh, standing in the corner uh, near uh, a large like metal bucket on the floor a flat metal bucket like a pan he says now you pump this handle and water from below gets pumped up through this and he's like does it a couple of times and you can see almost like a shower sort of like tss, 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 with each pump i told you there's an old geezer in the boiler room that stokes the boiler. Well, at least it's warm then. This old geezer. Is he... Bitey? Like, Bob is now assuming no. everyone who's under the floorboards is... What you are misunderstand things? me, a geezer. A, a, a hot water source. Like a hot oh. spring. A geyser. <laughs> I thought you meant like an old man. No, an old geyser. Gee, gee, gai. 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 This Barovian <laughs> accent is terrible. Aye. That is how these washing facilities work. There is free tea with your room. If you wish to have some, simply pop down to the bar and I shall serve you some. Wine is still a copper, a cup. Silver, a pitcher. It's okay. I think we need sleep. Thank you. And he just starts to push this guy out. Of You're the... welcome. Have a good evening. Have and, a good and you, evening. And you, and you, just bang. <laughs> and then Bob, you see, just starts pushing. If there's like a desk or a chest of drawers, just starts pushing it in front of the door. <laughs> Smart. Right. Who wants to slip first? I will watch. Well, if no one's going to use the weird... Uh, Standing bath, then I'm. I, I think I'm gonna do it. You're going Make to sure work. that the water doesn't like burn or sizzle or something weird. Or sticky. She like go over there and like pump it once and like put her hand under it. Make sure it's not like weird water. Uh, the water is very warm. It smells faintly of eggs. Yeah. All right. No, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's okay, I guess. Sort of. It's kind of stinky, but whatever. And I, I think Talia's gonna go over and take one of, like, the corner of one of the towels and get it a little wet and just, like, wipe her face and, like, her neck and call it a day. <laughs> just kind of get some of the grime off, but not, like, shower. Yeah, you guys been digging graves. You yeah, mess so up. Yeah, disgusting. She's just gonna strip down and... Bob is like, oh. Sophie oh. did dig up like eight <laughs> graves with the skeleton. Yeah. Again. Like it was not. <laughs> Bob yeah. is literally covering his eyes like, oh my. It just looks the other, <laughs> other way. <laughs> Sorry, right, come on, go. Get it. You're gross. Get in there. You're, you're gross. I mean, you don't have to say it out loud. <laughs> yes, so aggressive. yes, I do because you never listen to me, ever. Fine, 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 fine. And she'll just shuffle on in. <laughs> Is it? Could you let me know when you have clothes on again, please? As it just no, like cool. mm. Talia looks at Bob. She's like, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, as you pump the water, the warmth of it uh, helps clean your skin, and uh, it feels warm and nourishing to the thing, to the to the body. Getting this dirt and corpse out from underneath my fingernails and in the corners of my nose and out of my ears and just 
I feel like an insufficient watchman right now. Uh, thank you very much, Potato Hollow, who gives another two subs. One to Madam Gandalf and one to Rachel. Um, thank you. Hey, you guys have the Scrout Hyper Moot now. Yay. Um, <laughs> as you are washing, um, the water seems to get heavier to pump. Seems to take harder. Maybe the water's getting less or something. You're having to dredge the boiler. <laughs> Sophie and Siri. Try to shove. <laughs> Sophie and Siri, could you please um could you please make me a wisdom saving throw? Oh lordy. Alright. Wisdom save. Oh. oh. <laughs> I have like I rolled an 18, but I have a negative one to like my wisdom. So, so makes it a 17. <laughs> I got an 11. Sophie. As you are yep. pumping, you feel the fluid change as it hits your body. It's more viscous. It doesn't smell like eggs anymore. It smells metallic. Unable to stop, you pump again and sure enough, red blood gushes from the uh, shower head onto you. Unable to stop, you pump again, showering yourself in this blood as it drenches your body. Gets in your hair and in your uh, in all of your pores, you're caked in blood. Turi, this is a very nice shower, very relaxing. You're you're feeling great, you know, like I'll gargle the water a little bit as well, like Argh. I think instinctually Sophie just looks at her hands and screams and like stumbles backwards and just like falls onto the ground like Argh! just like looking at her see, and Talia's gonna be like Bob you should look now. Bob <laughs> turns around like I see like what is it? <laughs> like so it is what? Oh, there's blood, there's blood, oh my god, oh my god, what is this? And Suri, you also, you Sophie, you see Suri like gargling this blood with blood running all over her. Like, I ah, shower singing. You oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! What is this? And she's just like trying to like wipe it off and like grabbing a towel and just wiping her face. And I know Bob's got his eyes closed, but do we see this or is it literally just something Sophie sees? Talia, if you're looking that way, please make me a wisdom save. Talia, you see the bloodbath. The literal bloodbath. There we go, guys. <laughs> and Talia's gonna run and she's gonna try and like pull Sophie out of the way and like give her like all of the rest of the towels on the bed and try and help wipe her off and it's a strange juxtaposition as um, Siri seems to be thoroughly enjoying this blood shower. And and she's gonna... I, I don't know. I think she's gonna help the screaming girl first. <laughs> and then worry about why our hairy wolfy friend might be enjoying. <laughs> and like your hair's getting Sorry, all matted from the blood, you know? Like, you know when blood gets in hair and it goes all thick and clammy? Um, like Bob's, Bob's literally like listening to her. He's like, Can I look? I don't, I don't. Bob, just look. I'm, I think Annie's sort of like peering. <coughs> and he's like, uh, wisdom save, please, Bob. Oh, God. So he's just starting to like cry at this point. <laughs> uh, you just see very clean Sophie and Siri uh, enjoying a shower and Talia and Sophie freaking out. And I'm literally just looking back because I was like, what is wrong with you people? I, I, and then, like, looks over at Sorry, and like, What is wrong with you people? Like, trying to shield himself from everything. Siri, how do you react to Sophie freaking out like this? She's just gonna kind of start washing herself slower, like... <laughs> <laughs> her sister's sitting on the ground crying and screaming and Natalia's like what are you and you're just like oh. <laughs> what's this about Bob is just confused. Uh, and just like but, that the uh, blood's gone and, 
until he stops. She's like, what? What was? <laughs> Did you guys not see that? <sighs> she like looks up at Talia, just like panic in her face. You saw? I, I saw. I saw it. Bob <sighs> looks over at Talia. Like, you said you would say when they put clothes on again. Well, she was covered in blood, Bob. I didn't. It was everywhere. It was coming out of. What? And blood? Suri was just. Drinking it. it, Suri. Like Bob is holding out a towel to Suri whilst like got a hand there. He's like, I don't see any blood. I think I think this has got to you. I think you need to have some sleep. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's just the the, the tired playing tricks on. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> wraps herself up in a towel and just <laughs> and she tries to like <laughs> hug Sophie like she's trying she's like oh. feels <laughs> Suri will at this point go up to her like sister and just be like why are you being weird it, what, what do you mean why am I being weird there was Talia saw it too there was blood everywhere I'm not crazy. It was it was all over me, and, and it was, and you, it was on and, you. <laughs> and it was it was like it, it, you could feel it. It was the thick, and it. <laughs> I don't. But now it's you, gone. I don't. Hold on. You this didn't place. see anything. And she's gonna look at Bob, and she's like, finally, like, I, I think I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, I could have told you that a long time ago. You think ago. everything's a bad idea. <laughs> Am I right, though? Sometimes. <laughs> this was one of those times. <laughs> a, a slow knock at the door. We are asleep. <laughs> I heard screaming. Is everything all right in there? Um... Have you checked your water supply lately? Water is fine. I was concerned that Gribo had found his way into your room. He's not bothering you, is he? And immediately uh, Bob's eyes like now is like, who is Gribo? The cat, of course. <gasps> you have a cat. I worry that he is attacking you. No. Uh, no, we're okay. Just go wash your cups. Yes. <sighs> you hear him fud away from the door as he sort of shuffle walks away. <sighs> Sophie's just gonna like curl up at the like foot of the bed, just uh, just lay down from her panic. She's like wearing off now, and the adrenaline's going away, and she's just. <laughs> and Talia looks at her and she's like, "Dear, dear, you, you take the bed. Take, take the bed. Try to get some sleep. I, I I'm did. hardly small. We can, we can, you, no, you saw it too. Just well, you're, you're bigger uh, than when we first met." <laughs> <laughs> Suri's gonna start like <clears throat> stroking her sister's hair, like, and like running her fingers through it a bit, and just like trying to do like little sister comfort things and just like yeah just keep combing her fingers through in a very soothing matter so she's still finding this very weird but she doesn't not believe that her sister believes she saw that <laughs> and Talia's I think kind of shaking but she tries to sit on the edge of the bed and she just starts to pray I think we should all get some sleep. That's that's uh, that's a good, that's a good idea. We all need to sleep, I think. Yeah. Well, you guys can get a somewhat peaceful rest, though. Of course, it is uh, a struggle through the night. Having these memories of, um... Wow, the 
The 1d5s really love Suri and Talia. As you sleep, please both roll me another world magic search. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, not 20. Uh, sorry, 1d485. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> not 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not quite how it works, but okay. <laughs> oh, that was a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> As you sleep this night, Talia, you feel the weight of the harrowing, uh, harrowing event weighing upon you. Um, there will be special consequences when you wake up. Imagine she's tossing and turning and she's dreaming and she's having these nightmarish visions of just this like black inky muck that keeps coming in between her and her reaching her goddess and just the dark in the woods. Yeah, the weight of these dreams is just pressing on you all night. Siri. You're getting the increasing feeling that you shouldn't be sleeping now. Like, night time isn't a time to sleep. You know? Siri's um, going to believe that that's because she's worried for her sister. You're actually finding it very easy to see in the dark right now. Whenever you open your eyes this night, you can see the room very clearly. Just me, I have the shadows gotten brighter. Almost like you have dark vision. I can see it clearly now. The night has come. And the rain is I gone. See... I can see like all obstacles that are in our way. So go to sleep, sorry. Um, I'm awake now. So, are Just... you going to take over the watch? Can I get some sleep? Sure, I'll just look after... I'll look after this one. And she'll, like, patronizingly, like, pat on Sophie, like... Mm -hmm. eh, I'll look after this one. Okay. <laughs> and Bob jumps up on the bed, like he's much bigger than all of you. Right. But he curls up into this tiny, like, cat-like ball at the end of the bed and he sort of falls asleep every now and then you see his ear twitching <laughs> and he might run in his dream a little bit if he says anything and just by like instinct you see Talia kind of like tuck her toes mm -hmm. under him like to keep them warm like this is not the first time <laughs> the night passes you guys can exchange your watches as you planned to or not it's up to you but when the morning comes, Talia... Talia looks a lot older. Talia looks as though... She looks a lot like her mother, in fact. As though she has aged 20 years. Bob sits up and then really backs up, like how a cat would back up from something. Like, like I imagine she's got, like, long pitch black hair but you start you see like silver streaks in it now and how and she, long uh, was is there a mirror in this room i'm guessing uh, probably not there is a mirror in this room actually okay well she's gonna look you have no reflection in the mirror oh uh, and she's gonna very like kind of quickly turn away <laughs> Um, but she doesn't, so she can't tell. She just, she's freaked out by the mirror thing, but she can't like tell that she just friend. looks older. Thank you, Lindy, for the raid. Welcome, you raiders. Did, how long was I asleep? Um. It wouldn't. Oh, like he's just making noises. There's nothing coherent. He's just sort of gesturing to your face in general, and he doesn't understand. Whoa, what the hell happened to you? What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Okay, this yeah. isn't a blood. You guys see that? And Bob, see leans, Bob leans in. He's like, you got old. Yeah. 
and she looks down at her hands. Like mom old. Like my mom? Actually, I mean, my, I mean, my mom's an elf, so my mom is probably very old. <laughs> but doesn't really look like it, so. Like, oh, uh, mom, do you maybe have a grandmother? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't. Hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, you could continue. She's just gonna like wander off <laughs> to try and find like a reflective thing. Well, there's. <laughs> Bob just... is uncomfortably close. He's like there on you, literally just looking at every inch of your face. And she just freezes. <laughs> is there a mirror or anything like that in? There is yeah. a mirror. Okay, there, there is a mirror. Yes. So, Suri's going to come back, carrying the mirror. Just be like, okay, now what you are about to see may shock you. There's and no reflection in the mirror. Because she has no reflection anymore. When you look in the mirror, you notice that Talia has no reflection in the mirror. So, you've got... I... I... I was back at the church when I looked in the mirror, there... I didn't see myself, and I... This place is just so full of tricks. And... Did... It bite you? Also, Siri, as the sun's been rising, it's like you've been getting short-sighted, almost like you're looking through a fog. So you can see not so well in sunlight, but you can see well in nighttime. It's so bright. Oh I yeah, see, all these, it didn't bite me. It didn't. I. I. I so, feel. Can you not see yourself? No. You can't see her reflection either, Bob. No, Bob will shift into what she looks like. Right now. Set at the end of the bed in like the old form. This is what you look like. As you see, it's sort of like, like almost like a flutter of everything moves across. Um, and I feel like this is not the first time, probably, that Bob has looked like Talia to get them out of some kind of sticky situation. Um, so that won't be surprising to her. But when she sees her, like, hair, she's gonna be like, I. I do look like my mother, and I don't have a reflection. And and Sophie and Suri were covered in blood, and I. I Why am I not seeing any of this weird stuff? And I'm like, but I mean, you're you're seeing. I I look this way to you, and you didn't see me in the mirror either, and. <coughs> And, and Talia is freaking out. <laughs> Bob will quickly shift back. Like, um, again, it's almost like when a chameleon changes colour, except it's and the image, and he turns back to the tabaxi form. He's like, I'm sure it's fine. And Talia just kind of collapses into Bob and starts to cry. He's like, ah, oh. like he's not, he's not very good with actual contact. He's like, Oh, 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 and then they just sort of stop. Like, sorry, sorry, no, I don't know. Oh, and he just reaches his sorry. arms round and just starts patting the back of your head. And he doesn't really get it, but he puts an arm around you, but it's not necessarily like touching you. It's, it, it's, it's all okay. I'm need... sure I'm no, no, Talia, Talia, I think you can fix it. My yeah. dog thinks I'm actually crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just typing out the safety thing. I was like, oh, oh, are we, are we okay? And, like, <laughs> Damn, just that like, like he does, his arms are too long anyway, so he's sort of like a really gangly sort of wrap round, and he's like, pat, like, stroking your head. He's like, and and oh, maybe yeah. the like 
our cat friend who still doesn't have a name. I think kind of his comes. name is Biggles. <laughs> Biggles. <laughs> she, he, he's like Tali. I I I don't know what to do. I just. I, I don't I, I don't I don't know how to help. I don't think there's anything that we can do except Ma- move maybe forward and try and get out it, of here. It might go away. You're right. You're right. Maybe like like the blood. This it is, went away. It went away and and we wouldn't be you know, this is this is some kind of dog on the cord. Sorry. <laughs> um, just, and this is... Oh, this has got to be some kind of test or... <sighs> we will figure out the purpose to this. Everything has a purpose, you say. You go back to Nomo soon. You will. Yeah. And Bob has every intention that even if she doesn't, she can't see herself in a mirror. So he will literally just reflect whatever <laughs> he she used to look like. <laughs> so. And she kind of sits up and straightens everything and she goes. <sighs> There's tell me to like Oprah in here today. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what, what you mean. I... She was like a big caregiver of the village. She always gave people lots of advice. Everything got emotional all the time. It's, it's definitely emotional in here today. I heard she once gave everybody like carts. You got a cart. You get a cart. Everybody got a cart. It's a glorious day. It does seem really wonderful. <laughs> And she, I think she's going to look and check in on Sophie because we both apparently had very hard, like, t- 10 hours. <laughs> she's just going to be like, how, how are you feeling? Well, uh, I, I'm... She tries to, like, hold back a joke from being like, I'm not 20 years older, so I'm a little bit better than you. She doesn't say anything like that. Um, <laughs> but th- she thinks it. Th- she thinks that. She goes, um... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm better. I'm better. Sleeping helped. But, um, yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out for, for you. She kind of, like, gestures. And Bob's, like, behind Tali looking at you, like. <laughs> I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I bet, you know, I bet it has something to do with the big dude. The, the, the vampire, you know, that like everything looks around here. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like everything around here has something to do with him. I think um, what we're so well, we should go and tell him that it's not cool to get rid of reflections, to uh make watery blood thing and create more vampires and kill him. And we still need to we still need to help you, sorry. Oh, yeah, we're me running too. out of time. Uh, and like Bob rests a hand on Tali, and she's like, "If you want, I can go kill him. If it makes you feel better." <laughs> she's like, "Well, Bob, I wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't wanna lose you, just in case. Maybe just in case. Maybe we have all those instructions. We need to figure out how to help Suri. I think it's best we stick together." <laughs> okay. You don't want to just leave me here in this tavern, do you? Oh no, I was gonna take you all with me. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's. I, I think that would make me feel better. To let be me... honest, right now I don't think I can leave any of you alone. You're seeing blood. You're morphing into some wolf thing, and you're aging well as he sort of tries to <laughs> make it as nice as possible towards Talia. And she like tries to like fix her hair and <sighs> so I 
don't even know where we start now. We... We found that sword. So maybe the other things that Madam Eva said are possible too. But I don't even know where to where we would go, where we would start. Maybe... What if we start with breakfast? I could eat. <laughs> yeah, do you think that, that mug guy will know anything about some... She, like, pulls out her little notes that she took during the, during the reading. Uh, some pirate stone gargoyle thing. A, a elf man. A uh, we already did the thief thing, right? That was like that was the the graveyard. So we don't got to worry about that one. And then there's oh, what, she, what did she ramble on about? Some wizard. I wonder. Man. I, and she stops and she thinks she's like, didn't it? Wasn't there a wizard that went after Strahd last year? Could it be the they same one? The and what about that man's little? daughter or niece or something well they, they, he wanted us to, to take his sis, sister I think female family member yeah. a, across away from Ravenloft but I feel like if we're gonna start heading towards Ravenloft we should probably be more prepared yeah, uh, we can't really get rid of Strahd with half a sword I think we should get eggs and breakfast, and I don't I doubt this place does coffee. But they have tea. He said free tea with the room. I don't necessarily oh. trust the tea, but <coughs> I still just we discuss this over breakfast. And so Talia's it's... gonna. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Would Suri possibly have the? enough knowledge to say like we should also get silver weapons well uh why don't you make me another wisdom save <laughs> with my negative one yep that is a negative one total <laughs> wow uh no no um you're you haven't put together the vampires and silver thing um just not quite connected. But I, think I should have just gonna... used one of my nat ones on that. Why didn't I use one of my already built up nat ones? <laughs> because I call the nat ones against you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wait for the most opportune it it... moments. <laughs> it makes it so much worse that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, so much. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I think Talia's gonna kind of get up and straighten herself off and and put herself back together as she seems to be doing a lot of kind of trying to comfort herself um, and head downstairs for this cup of tea and hopefully something that vaguely resembles breakfast and maybe to ask the bartender a few questions. Because maybe he will tell us that we should have silver weapons. <laughs> yeah, okay, you, you can head down. Um, and I guess she'll sit probably at the bar. <coughs> there seems to be three Vistani sitting in the corner. They don't actively interact with you, but they are... Do we recognize any of them from no. our way in? No. They seem familiar. Maybe they've been lurking in this corner before. I think Tali's just going to ignore them. And go straight up to the bartender and be like, I believe you said something about tea? Yes, I can get you tea. Do you have anything else for breakfast? Um, not so much. There is a bakery. In the town. Bread sounds um, good. I like <laughs> bread. But for, first, do you know anything about the priest in town? He told us about... 
how some people went after Strahd last year. Led by some kind of wizard. Do you know anything about that? Strain, no, I do not get involved in the exp in actions against the devil, Strahd. I am a loyal commoner, and hopefully, hopefully that will give me some respite from his anger. And she looks back at the group and she goes, well, no breakfast. We could go to the bakery and maybe find somebody to ask questions of, or... She looks over at the Vistrani in the corner and she goes, wait. And she just walks straight up to them. Yeah, Sophie has been eyeing them the whole time, just standing there like... <laughs> looking at them weird. Bob did not notice he was waiting for breakfast that never turned up. Tea! Uh, he offers you a muddy cup in a cheap crockery. Uh, Bob sort of looks at it. I'm okay, thank you. But it is appreciated. He puts the other three cups on the... Uh... Mm -hmm. I think seeing Kalia approach the other men, Sophie's gonna walk over next to her really quick and, like, walk up to him with her. I don't know if Bob will have noticed her do it yet if she's talking to the... If he... Sorry, if he is talking about tea <laughs> with someone else. <laughs> Priorities. Um... <clears throat> so Talia, I guess, has gone up to this group. I imagine that she recognized that the tea is behind the counter, but she's... T two goals. Information. Breakfast. This might reach one of those goals. <laughs> um, and so she will approach the Vistrani and just say, Can I have a seat at your table? There's a long pause. We do not enjoy the company of strangers. However, I can recommend that you head over to Madame Eva's. She will gladly give you a reading. Uh, we've and already spoke that. what she said. <laughs> She's also pointed. <laughs> <laughs> so the stranger thing bothers you. Hi, Sophie. She like, holds out her hand. Her little halfling hand, just... They, they just stare over your hand at you. And, and Talia just goes, Madam Eva was very hospitable to us, and she gave us a lot of information and told us, called us some kind of something. She said we were, we might be the ones to defeat Strahd, and we were hoping that you might be as helpful as she was, or partially so. Um... One of the, the another one of them looks over the bar and she says, uh, "Arik, are these paid up on their tabs?" Arik nods. Welcome. We are the owners. They clasp your hand. Oh. Oh. What a. <laughs> um. Thank right. you. This is a wonderful establishment. Hmm. The plumbing we, cost a lot. We mm. noticed the plumbing last night. <laughs> and yeah. Talia's kind of noblewoman pleasantries have kicked in at this point. She doesn't want to, like, offend these people whose roof they're sleeping under. <laughs> um, and she just kind of looks over at Sophie and she's trying to, like... <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, how long have you guys had this whole thing this place do you wish to make us an offer no I'm just I'm just asking questions I don't really want to stay here forever no offense we've had it for we're long a, enough 
we're we're new to Barovia. We're, I know. If you can't tell. <laughs> I, um, uh, and we were hoping you might be willing to just uh, give us a little history about the place. And, uh... Well, there are two places which may be of interest to you. Sorry? One is a townhouse where you can hear moaning coming from the story windows. That is a most interesting place. The other is a house. A house off to the east of the village. Very interesting place. Either of those would be of most interest to you, I'm sure. Is there anywhere around here that is, uh, where there's gargoyles? No. Can I insight um, check that? Uh, you can, whilst I also double check my, uh, my notes. <laughs> But sure, yeah, roll with the insight. That's a 16 flat. Uh, they're telling the truth. No, no goggles around here. Uh, <clears throat> and she's gonna just say, we've, we've heard some interesting stories. It sounds like you all have had a very um, active year here with um some people that went to go fight Strahd, I heard they weren't very successful. No one fights Strahd. Well, we, we were told that about a year ago. Um, people are only crushed by Strahd. <laughs> what about the, uh, the wizard guy? What is his name? <laughs> you know, I would have used it instead of saying wizard guy had I known his name. Exactly. <clears throat> Crushed, or else he would be a legend. Are you sure he's- is he alive anywhere? I- we know that a lot of people were hurt, but... Have there been any- he's dead? You ask a lot of questions. We're just- New. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just new and, and there's so much going on here and we've had a, a couple of nasty surprises <laughs> already <laughs> that we least. wouldn't have seen at home. Have any of you and... been bitten? No. No. Uh, just... uh... <laughs> at this point, Bob notices he's just not been paying attention and he suddenly realizes they've all walked over and he's like, Oh, and sort of hurries over and seeing Shuri put up her hand, he's just like puts it down for her. Oh, what what are, what are we talking about? Bitten by what? Anything. I mean, she was bit by a dog. Maybe a wolf. Oh. <laughs> um, Big wolf. mosquito. But she's healed. And I'm referring to, to Bob, actually, at this point the whole hamstringing thing <laughs> and he sort of just like points down his leg i'm guessing there's like a a scar there or something bitten by wolves no a dog be careful in the full moon what makes you say that it's in four days know what happens then yeah what happens then well if you have been bitten by a werewolf you have until then to cure yourself of the licanthropic curse this is common knowledge we're from a very far away <laughs> or else you become a raving werewolf yourself So he's going to turn himself and be like, I don't want to be a werewolf. They have really bad breath. It's like they have halitosis. Is there any... 
we keep running across werewolves and vampires and and it seems seems like they don't take much of a hit. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions for us? Welcome to Barovia. <laughs> it's been a Against interesting welcome. The werewolves and the wolves. Silver. But I will tell you nothing that harms Strahd. What about another vampire? Say a younger one. I will tell you nothing that harms Strahd or his kind. That's... Why? Because you don't know or because you're being stubborn? Because I am being loyal in the hope that that will give me some sort of retribution when he next comes to the village. He could turn up today. Turn up any time. Well, he is not bound to the castle. I mean, it would be four of us against one of him, so if you told us, it might make things a little bit easier, and then bada-bing, bada-boom, we kill Strahd, you're free to do whatever you want, you could put more showers into your inn. <coughs> you know, there are tales of over a couple of hundred years ago when whole armies tried to take on Strahd and Peril, perished. What makes you think the four of you could take on Strahd? Charisma. Uh, charisma. What's charisma? I need a sword. A really shiny one. Halfling luck. May I see this shiny sword? And then again, Bob's eyes narrowing. Like, Why? There is a legend of a sword lost for centuries. And you think this is it? Could be. I heard in a story that it was destroyed or shattered. May I see? And Bob realizes it and just reaches back and pulls out the sword. He stands and walks forward and offers his hand out. May I inspect it? No. Please. No. You can, I can hold it and you can look at it. Why do you want to touch it? If it is the magical sword of legend, there will be an inscription on the hilt. And Bob tries to look at the hilt. As you are looking at the hilt, he tries to grab it. Can I nat 20 push him over the bar? He's also nat 20 to grab it. So, since we've both burnt a nat 20, let's roll it out. What am I rolling for this? Sorry. Um, like athletics? athletics or acrobatics, up to you. Okay. 21. Oof. Oof. You manage to snatch it out of his hands, and he, uh... I push him backwards and literally lean down to him and go, I said, don't touch. This is my establishment, remember. And this is my sword. Fair remember. enough, but remember some measure of respect before we throw you out. And don't try steal my stuff. Respect goes both ways. One of the female Vistani gets up and leaves the room. I'm gonna follow her. Bob's like, don't separate. I'll, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Siri will follow her sister. Oh, God damn. Let you and I want to all stay together. Like, <laughs> Bob grabs Talia. <laughs> Talia's not going anywhere. And keeps, just keeps hold of the sword. 
Mistani Tell sits... refuses to be more than a room apart from Bob in any tunnel. <laughs> so Mistani sits back down as I tire of this conversation. Leave me well, to my thank wine. You. Thank you for what you have told us and for letting us stay in your lovely establishment. And Talia motions at Bob to kind of come away and go sit back at the bar, hoping that Sophie and Suri will come back. Bob backs up slowly and literally just makes that gesture of like respect my both ways as you go <laughs> as he steps backwards. Talia wanted to push him, but she didn't want them to get kicked out of the only place they have to sleep. <laughs> Sophie and Suri, um the woman dives out of the bar, she moves around to the side and hops into the stable. Soon she is galloping away on a paint horse. Which direction? Northeast. Northwest, sorry. Is that the way? Uh, that is the way towards the um, Vistani camp. Okay. Yeah. I don't trust her. And she makes me feel weird. And I'm already weird, so that that's a big thing. You're not that weird. <laughs> You're just furry sometimes, but we'll fix that. I don't want to be a werewolf, Sophie. Hey, you're not going to be a werewolf, alright? I'm not going to let that happen to you. She grabs your shoulders and just, alright? You're not going to turn into a werewolf. It's all just a, it's all just a bunch of, it's, it's bullshit, right? Right, right. It's totally fake. The straw dude is probably just some weird, like, magic user who's, like, doing illusions and, like, practicing spells and just being a big old jerk, and you're going to be yeah. gone. All right? Go up there, smack him around him a little bit. Just get it all taken yeah. care of, right? Come on, she goes kind of press your cheeks. Not like hard, just like, you know, yeah. like, come, come on. Squeeze yeah. your come on. All right? Show me your show me your face you're gonna give Strahd. Come on. For a second, as you snarl, your, your face extends slightly into a snout and fangs, and then retracts again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, ah. <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's, oh, no, no, it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. No, no, it's, uh, uh, let's just do this fast. Yeah. Pat her on the back. Just... And I guess we'll head back to uh, Talia and Bob and let them know, like, well, she went that way. <laughs> Bob is literally just looks like he's ready to pounce on anything or anyone <laughs> right now. Well, uh, you have a full day ahead of you. What would you like to do? I want to go to the camp and see what all the fuss is about. Well, I think that's where that woman went. She seemed pretty weird. We could go back there, question these people, tell, ask them where the hell we can find the other end of that sword, maybe get it fixed, figure out where this gargoyle is, ask him about the weird houses that the dude was talking about, you know? Adam even didn't say that the sword was a two-step problem. <laughs> exactly. These locals are not very hospitable. But maybe I am really hungry. We can stop at that bakery on our way out of town. Definitely. I feel like I could eat a horse. What's... Thinking about werewolves snout. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. She stands up. Food. 
One step at a time. And she's gonna okay. march towards the door. <laughs> she has a purpose. And Bob is right behind her. Indeed. Not holding on to her, but like, it's just <laughs> hovering over her. Indeed, across the square, it's not so much a bakery as just a kitchen that's opened up into the square. There is a small woman who breaks bread. She has them lined up on the wall. Baguettes and such. Hello? Yeah? Hello? Uh, can we get bread and bread? Or do you have do you have anything else? Maybe something sweet? I have butter. Butter is good. I will take butter. Uh, and bread. Yep. Bread and butter. Uh, if you would like to wait, I could cook you up a sweet treat. Oh. I'm just gonna like turn like to Bob and Talia like a mother and father like approval kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is like. You did at your own risk. <laughs> How much? Well, these loaves, uh, they are uh, five, two coppers apiece. One loaf should feed two of you. Uh, if you would like me to cook up a sweet treat, I mean, it's the same price. It will just take uh, about an hour. Do we have the time? And she'll turn again, like to Bob and Dahlia. And, and Bob Talia's gonna Dahlia. Say, <laughs> uh, Talia's gonna say, we do only have four days. I feel like every minute may count. Just the bread, please. Hey, I mean, how can you have time if you don't take your time? Hmm? That's the wisdom of the wise right there. Yeah, well, you know, I've got a little bit of a problem, and I get hairy in a few days if we don't get this sorted out. So, it's kind of a hairy situation. Things always get hairy if you don't sort them out. You need to take a good pair of trimmers or bleach to it. You know, I hadn't thought of that. But, but for now, we'll just uh, bread and butter. Just the bread and butter, please. And plenty of it. Maybe, maybe enough for us and a little bit to go. Okay, well, what would you like? Three loaves? Four? They should last at least a day. Four loaves, then. That would be eight copper. And I'd Talia will pay for it. Tell you what, if you're in the village tomorrow, I'll cook you something sweet so you won't have to wait. We hope to be back, but you never know. Well, I I hope your journey goes well. And she takes Thank out you. a small like paper bag and puts the bread in the bag for you and hands it across like sort of like a bundle. Here you go. Mm. Eight coppers. Mm. Yes, this all seems to be in order. Thank you. That one should still be warm. Oh, butter. Butter, butter, butter. I forgot about the butter. That'd be an extra copper. Oh, or, if you'd like, I can give you a large knob for a silver. Um, the, just the copper amount will do. People rarely go for the large knob for a silver. And it's a lot of butter. You should take a small <sighs> thing and hand it over. It's uh, a copper. Bob is just stood at the side waiting for everyone to get something. And Talia passes a loaf to Bob. And she looks at Sophie and Suri and she's like, Remember, don't eat all of it right now. God only knows when we're going to be back here. <laughs> Suri's almost going to catch Uneat herself. Like what I ate. <laughs> <laughs> you know when <laughs> Stitch like, regurgitates the bread of a cake and like puts it back on? It just it pets. <laughs> Bob is holding this, like, baguette like this in his paws, just slowly eating it, but not taking his eye off the woman who provided it. Well, it's a oh. journey. 
safe uh begging yeah okay and then i guess they're walking out of town towards <laughs> back to <laughs> camp we've made towards this trip a lot lady we don't know anybody else. okay <laughs> So we're going to head back out into the uh, out into the wilderness. Uh, you go south, e- southwest, out, well, northwest to the road that curves around to the southwest to go over a bridge. Uh, and after the bridge is a short walk through the forest until you come to that crossroads where you famously found the graveyard and the pathway to Madame Eva's. However, on the way, could you please someone roll me a d12 and someone roll me a d8? I can do oh. D12. <laughs> I'll roll a D8. Maybe. A six. <laughs> and a one. One moment. As you're walking through the forest, you catch a whiff of pipe smoke in the cold air and hear laughter through the fog. Hello? No, don't talk to it. It should come over here. Sorry. Smoking's bad for you. Hello. <laughs> uh, Vistani steps out of the forest. We Can someone please one. roll me 1d4? I could do it. Go for, for it. it. What was it? A four. Uh, hello, indeed. Uh, behind the man, four more Vistani step out from the trees. Oh, you brought your friends. We were actually just heading to Madame Eva's. Well, you know, well, you're heading roughly the right way. But, uh, looks to me like you need a guide. Someone to show you the ways of these forests. For only a hundred gold. We'd happily be those guides for you. We don't have a hundred gold, and I'm pretty sure you know that. No, ah, well, you look mighty rich there, and, uh, you know, you're wearing chain mail. That's worth 75 gold. Between us, I think we could come to some sort of arrangement. This is important things we must keep. Well, that's that's one way of looking at it. You know, we're, we're friends of Madame Eva's, so I think we can manage to find it again on our own. So, if you'll excuse us. Bob will sort of take a step in front of the three of them. But we All right. don't need no guides. Well, after you then. And they each step to the side so you can carry on down the path. I'd rather will you walk in front. Oh no, we're gonna go the other way. Inside. I'm just gonna outstretch her arm and just like wait for them to walk. Tally wants to insight check them to see if they're actually going to leave them alone. Give me that insight <laughs> check. <laughs> you don't think so. She's not the smartest cookie. <laughs> yeah, these these people seem to have malcontent towards you. Oh no, my dear, no, no, ladies first, please. You head down the path, and we'll just go merrily along the other way. Don't you worry about that. I'm no lady. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. And Tally's just gonna keep walking. <laughs> all right. See, she's got the right idea. No need to be all hostile. We'll see you around. And they walk past. You creep. I don't Everything like is- them. 
I've seen it's better shakedowns from, well, she points at Surrey. <laughs> this one. <sighs> like to see that someday. And he's just sort of like <laughs> chuckles a little bit to himself. <laughs> and Talia actually looks back and she's like, like that cow. <laughs> Hey, that was a misunderstanding. Okay? We don't need to keep bringing it up. Understanding. This is the first joke Talia's made, so it's like... So it might be kind of surprising. (laughs) (laughs) Well, now, you uh, you carry on heading towards the camp, I assume. And, uh... Look over her shoulder every I was gonna say, Bob is almost, like, circling all of them just continuously as they walk. I would and say Talia is walking as if she has not a care besides getting to the camp. I would say, having made this journey a couple of times now, I'm not going to need you to make any sort of direction check for it. You can follow the path and get there quite easily. Soon, you are taking that turning off to the side into the forest, uh, where the um, where the camp is ahead. I guess we go to the tent. Do we see that uh, wonderful fellow we were talking to before about the cart? He seemed happy to answer questions. Uh, He's not around today. Sad. But again, the road gradually disappears and replaced by the twisted muddy path through the trees. And you are in before no sign of a paint horse were there fresher horse tracks coming in no the trail no oh crap Uh -uh. i should have checked for that earlier dang it are we going to go talk to the crazy lady again do we see anybody around there is a man by the fire, staring into it, smoking a pipe. Excuse me, and Bob just starts walking over to this <laughs> guy. We, uh, uh, ex- excuse me. Yeah, hello. Sir. Hello. Can I help you? I am looking for a crazy lady in a tent. But no, no crazy lady. If you mean the wisest of all of us, Madam Eva. That's uh, the one with the cards. She's not in her tent at the moment, I'm afraid. Where is she? Taking a short break. Gone off to visit some of her family. Her family's still living? She has daughters and granddaughters. A half-brother. Who is the half-brother? Don't really know. She doesn't talk about them much. Where do they live? I don't really know that either. I try not to pry. I could just really use talking to her. Why are you here all on your own? Oh, I'm not alone. I'm here with the trees and the fire. And of course the rest of the Vistani around the corner in the tents drinking. So, if, you know, we can't ask, um, the wisest woman you know questions, she says that very sarcastically. Yeah. Um, do, um, do you mind if we ask you some, some stuff? On it? I'll answer what I can. I'm not wise, though. Not by any means. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't have used that word for anyone here so far, but, you know, uh, maybe it means something different in Barovia. Regardless, um, do you know anything about a sword that kind of looks like it's made of, like, you know, the sun that you guys never see? Nope. What'd you want that for? Can I insight check that? Nope. I don't believe that note for a second. I don't know why. Uh, it's a three. 
Uh, he's never heard of it. What, what are you looking for one of those for, then? Well, you see, this one, she points at Bob, is kind of like one of those lizard people sometimes, and they really like heat, and having something like that on you at all times, like a physical representation of the heat, can it, it keeps them in a really good mood. I can see that. Oh, you're welcome to join me by the fire. Nice and warm <gasps> over here. Um, tell you sit uncomfortably next to him, like really close next to him. Body heat as well. Mm. <laughs> you are warm. Okay, so, um, so don't again, okay, no sword stuff. Um, you uh, you ever? Uh, I mean, you guys all know about this straw guy, giant jerk. Oh, careful saying stuff like that, you know. Gotta be careful in Barovia. They say that he's everywhere. He takes his pipe and taps it out on his heel. Pockets it. Steady staring into the fire. Wait, what, what, what do you mean everywhere? Like how? Strahd can appear in a moment. Some say he travels through the shadows. Uh, have you ever seen him? Oh, yes. Really? When? Usually in my dreams. A terrifying See, I was meaning man. More, more like actual eyes kind of thing. And he looks at you at the moment with the most endearing, like, honest look. Like he's looking deep into your soul. He's, Have you ever been awake? But you're not sure if you're really awake. But you could be dreaming that or you're dreaming but it's so real it feels like the real thing immediately thinks about all the blood and yeah, i guess so um, in that case yeah i've seen strad so you know you know about the the fights and stuff that he's been in oh Oh, yeah, I remember. Just over a year ago, a mighty wizard came to this land. I remember it like it was yesterday. They're exactly really? where you're standing, just like you are now. Very charismatic man he was. Oh. Well, he could rally the people against the devil Strahd, he did. He stirred them with thoughts of revolt and bore them to the castle en masse. When the vampire appeared, the wizard's peasant army fled in terror. A few stood their ground, and they were never seen again. The wizard and the vampire cast spells at each other. Their battle flew from the courtyards of Ravenloft to the precipice overlooking the falls. I saw the battle with my own eyes. Thunder shook the mountainside, and great rocks tumbled down upon the wizard. Yet by his magic he survived. Lightning from the heaven struck the wizard and again he stood his ground. But when the devil Strahd fell upon him, the wizard's magic couldn't save him. I climbed down to the river to search for the wizard's body to see if, you know, he had anything of value. But the river Elvis had already spirited him away. Do you know anything else about this wizard? Like, a name or where he was from? I don't rightly remember, to be honest. The river <laughs> takes all things. Time takes all memories. And Talia's gonna turn to the group and she says, What if he isn't dead? What if this is... She said the wizard was broken. Sounds pretty broken to me. Has there, like, been a dead body? Like, have you guys seen his dead body? Yeah. Like, hard, hard, you know, evidence. No. Oh, he's dead all right. I know it in my bones.
Where's this, um, this river you said that he uh, floated down? Uh, he gestures to the river by the camp. The River Iblis! There it is. It's like 50 feet across. Grand River oh. it is. Goes all yeah. the way past the castle Ravenloft and all the way down southway, southeast through the land. Hmm. Hell of a torrent in it though. Got a lot of current. Don't want to go swimming in there. Never be seen again. We uh, we we were staying staying in town, some some uh some tavern, some bloody vine thing. Really you know repetitive barkeeper. Yeah, cup dude. Blood on the vine. Yeah, yeah I know it. Yeah. Um. No, nah, there was uh, there was a, a lady there, actually. Came right. through on a on a speckly kind of horse. She was coming this way. Did you uh, happen to see her at all? No, afraid not. Uh, okay. Yeah, she she mentioned something about some houses that were like moaning and just wanted to get some more information from her. I'm afraid I don't know much about the uh I don't know much about the village. Yeah. I tend to stay away. I like I like to spend my time out in the trees. Sometimes you find bodies out here and sometimes they got gold on them. creepy but i get it the night takes it. most things nicely she's gonna like take a step back and kind of like halfway go behind bob at this point just... mm -hmm. can i help you at all Perhaps in Madam Eva's absence, I can give you some sagely advice or direction. I well, don't know. Can you help me? Well, what would you suggest if you're trying to... kill a certain big bad boy? Don't. Give in. Take a job somewhere. Lay your head down low. That's the key to survival in, in Barovia. Look at the people okay. in the village. They're happy. Debatable. I think crazy is the word he's looking for. I'm happy. I'm sure you are. Oh, just, just radiating from you. The sunshine and joy. But say we did want to still go ahead with our crazy, crazy idea and be very unhappy people who had decided to go forward with this idea. Any advice? You're talking to the wrong people. I don't think any of the Vistani would help you in this. Why not? No reason. Stani brought us here. Did they? Are you all in on this? No. So you're not all secretly there. If you're asking if I'm a vampire, I can assure you that I am not. Look, I've got a mirror on me to prove it. See? You can't see my reflection can see my reflection even there i am i was going to say <laughs> wait 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 she looks over at talia it's very funny because i do actually have fangs <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> see you can see my reflection that means i'm not a vampire so, so if someone can't see their reflection, they're a vampire? Oh, yeah, it's a sure sign that they're either a vampire or vampire spawn. Best thing you can do is stick a stake straight through their heart. Unless they're Strahd, of course. In which case, 
Run. Is there anyone who has beef with Strahd? That maybe they would like to team up with a ragtag team of outsiders. Oh, you sound just like that wizard. No. Everyone was crushed in the last rebellion. Everyone what, to what? a man. Even the wizard was beaten to a pulp. What was his name, the wizard guy? I can't remember now. Something fancy. Bartholomew, maybe? No, something something long. That's long. It wasn't... No, something beginning with M, but... Hmm. I can't remember it. What about... Are there a lot of beggars in town, in Barovia, in the city? We haven't seen many people on the streets. Oh, there's people about. They just keep to themselves, I guess. Like I say, I don't go to the town often, but... Best to keep your nose clean. That's the way to survive. Keep your nose clean. Don't get involved. Find yourself a steady job. Something that needs doing. Repairs or grave robbing. When did we try that? <laughs> I don't know if that second one is really our kind of thing. Well, your friend there looks very happy about it. She always looks like that. Do you know of anyone who might um, be pretty well traveled? Maybe be able to answer some questions about if they've seen certain landmarks or. Well, the best way to become well traveled is to do a lot of traveling. If I were you, if you're bored of the village, you could head northwest of it all the way up to Lake Zal Zarevich. What's That'd up probably there? Oh. I don't rightly know, I don't venture that far. There's bound to be more. If you carry on along this path, you'll come to the waterfalls of the Tsur. There's a bridge over there where you can cross the uh, Ivlis. And uh, you can go through some more gates. It'll take you north. Uh, you have to be careful though, because you stray awfully close to the grounds of Castle Ravenloft. And you don't want to get too... You don't want to get too close to that. Well, do you, uh, do you happen to have kind of like some, uh, some like, I don't know, you guys do a lot of camping and stuff over here. Do you happen to have maybe like some traveling food, <coughs> perhaps, that we could maybe trade or buy off of you? Rations, like? Yeah. I suppose so. I happened to loot some of a corpse very recently that looks pretty fresh. So they're seasoned. Cool. Oh, don't worry. He hadn't started going gooey yet. He was quite fresh. Full of bite marks he was, as if a pack of wolves had bored down on him in the night. Oh. But at least the rations are okay. Yeah, I suppose it's because they're in tins, I guess. Wolves couldn't get to them. So how much you want for them? Uh, let's see. How about a copper of ration? That's fairly reasonable, I think. That's super reasonable. How many? Oh, I've got ten. That's how much he had on him. How many copper do Sophie... Is she... <laughs> She's broke. I don't even. I, did I actually write it down? I have seven copper. And that's how broke. <laughs> you know you broke when. <laughs> copper. You know what? She's gonna buy four of his rations. Just the four. All right. Big spender. Don't eat them all at once. He hands over these four cans. Yay. Perfect. 
I mean, you can go the long way round as well if you like. If you don't want a shortcut along the river towards the waterfall, you can go back the way you came and onto the main road past the graveyard. Uh, it winds the main road into the forest and round. It's a bit of a longer route, but, uh, you know, you might find more people on the road. Taggy looks at them and she's like, tick, tick. Or you have to find that other skeleton. The graveyard seems... An option, since we <laughs> if we had to pick a direction to go, and if we meet more people on the road, we might be able to get some questions answered. I go yeah. where you go, Talia. So, um. do we want to do that then? Just go back through to the main road and head towards this pool, this waterfall. Seems to have been wandering around in the woods. <laughs> At least then we have a path to follow. And if it's this would be down river, right? Then uh actually I believe it would be up the river. You come to the base of the pool, okay. I believe. Hmm. Yes, indeed you do. You come to the base of the pool. Okay. At minimum, hmm. we can head towards the graveyard and maybe we'll find a new direction along the way. All it's right. as good a plan as any that we've got right now. We don't really have another choice. We've been wandering around in circles for two days now. We are running low on time. I go where you go. I guess the main road it is then. Yeah. <coughs> well, thank you for spending some time with me. Thank you for Lovely your questions. Lovely to have a chat. You've been somewhat helpful. And you've been most amicable. Should I see you out there in the forest? I'll think twice before I pick your corpses clean. Maybe say a few words over them. Oh, that'd be very nice. Thank you. And can, if something happens, bury us together? She oh, I don't know about like burying. If I buried everybody I found, I'd still be out in the woods. Tell you what, if you dig a quick grave before you die, I'll make sure to roll you in it. Oh, well, Sophie and Bob are very good at grave digging. Sophie's better at it than I am. Efficient. It's a specialty. It's weirdly true. Well, perhaps we can figure out some sort of uh, arrangement in the future. Oh, <laughs> I don't plan on staying here that long. Well, I've always been looking for partners, and one day I'm going to have to find myself a wife. Yeah, uh, no. For, no. Alright, you have a good day. Uh, guys, she's going to turn around and walk away. <laughs> Goodbye. And Bob waves like... <laughs> Scrat saw me spit take when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been like coughing because I've been still recovering from being sick, but that one was entirely <laughs> liquid in my throat. Um. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are making your way back out the woods towards the main road? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess so. Are we rolling? <laughs> As you get back to the main road, you can hear. a horse. I hope that sounded like a horse. Was that a pretty good horse? I hope it was a horse. I mean, was... Yeah, I've tried. Um, <laughs> it is uh, a man you'll remember, perhaps from the first time you went to the Blood on the Vine Tavern. He introduced himself as Ismark. 
He is trotting back towards the village. The dude with the si sister. Sister? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's... his... His adopted sister. <coughs> Can we wave him down? We're coming- so wait, he's going back to the village and so are we? Uh, you were heading- I thought you were gonna head the other way. Um, but he oh, is heading okay. back to the village. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello. We're kind of, we're... Okay. Hello, hello hey. my friends. Are you... You're out here with the Vistani. Yeah. We were just- Making friends. Don't you know? You know what? The Vistani are... Not to be trusted. Why not? They're the ones who brought us here. Exactly. Boys, case in point. Not oh. only that, they often things go missing when they are around. And they steal things. And they kidnap children. Oh, really? Well, so the rumors go. <laughs> the rumors also go that they are spies for Strahd. That would make sense. Definitely. Why would they tell us how to kill him? <laughs> how did? do we know they told the truth? Adam Eva did. Did she? Well, now I'm questioning everything. <sighs> where, where, uh, where are you going? I head back to my father's house. Uh... I hope hey. that my sister is still well, but I worry that Strahd will visit soon and try to claim her. You think he's just gonna, like, show up? Like, physically? Just... He can appear anywhere. He has appeared at our house several times, demanding that he have, uh, Irina. But he does not call her Irina, he calls her something else. What's he call her? He calls uh, an old name. Uh, is uh... Oh, it'll come to me in just a second. Is uh... really. Tatiana. He believes that he is his ancient lover. Tatiana. Have, have we heard that name before? Up until now? No? Okay. Alice. <laughs> I'm really cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's like taking notes, I just looked back over and I just. <laughs> Bob is cold. Bob is cold right now. <laughs> Atlanta, huh? Come okay. back with me. It looks as though you are heading northeast. Yes, northwest. Sorry. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we were gonna head over to the Please, I implore you, take my sister with you. Are, are you sure? Isn't she like sick? Sick? No. Sure. Well. Not sick so much. He's... She... There is some protection in our household. It is though Strahd cannot touch her. Taking her out of the house is a gamble. But if Strahd does not notice and we can get her out to the lackey... I believe it is worth that gamble. We have a very winding path. We have things we're trying to find. And I would... You know, so we might not be able to take her directly where you want us to go. I would implore you to take her directly. Well, seems pretty serious. <laughs> and it is, like, a direction. I would not... 
like to imagine what would happen to her if Strahd got his hands on her. Fortunately, Valaki is right up on Lake Zarevich. Uh, if you follow the path, you cannot easily miss it. Um. If no one else has any objections. I mean, why not? We, can, we will come back with you and we will take her with us. But. Because you believe so strongly that it will help her. But we need supplies. If we're going to be traveling. There will be supplies at my father's house. He dismounts and starts walking with you. Come with me. Right. And while we walk, might, might we ask you a few questions? Always there are questions. Yes. <laughs> Together we shall find answers. Thank you. And that is where we shall wrap up this week's session. Uh. <coughs> How are we doing, guys? <laughs> I feel like next week we will no longer be wandering around in circles. So. <laughs> That's the thing, unfortunately, with Ravenloft. you got to know what you want, because there's a lot of content here, and pretty much so anywhere much. you go, I can throw things at you. Um, like the church, for example. Who knew all of that would happen in a church? But anyway, um, so guys, let's start thinking. First of all, over in chat, I want you to think of our raid war cry for this evening. Um, we'll decide who we're raiding later, but we need a, we need a good strong raid war cry. So preferably something to do with the stream today. Um, and whilst we go with that, let's go around the group. We'll start with Alice before she falls asleep in that blanket. Um, <laughs> Alice. Oh, sorry, I haven't slept for so long and it's cold. <laughs> How? Let, what's your favorite part? And where can we find you online? There's so much of this that are my favourite parts. Like, but like this week, I think it was Suri throwing her cloak over a vampire <laughs> and it working. And there was this very dangerous, bitey little vampire and we literally threw a blanket over it and then tied its feet together. <laughs> and that is one of my favourite bits and plus i love all the interactions between all the characters in general oh yeah um, they're just good and it's a diverse group of people i feel but yeah i loved it um i'm white rabbit pick on twitter um i'm also the dm for our eberron game our eberron campaign on monday and tomorrow night is the cypher system uh eden uh, which we just got new art for, which uh, I love. I love it, and it's it's awesome. So you should go check it out. Um, but yeah, I'll leave Scrap with all the links. Otherwise, I will literally just be repeating. <laughs> well, I have linked your website, your photography website, and everything like that oh. on there, and people can find your Twitter and your Facebook and everything else. So if you guys want to go and be all socials with Alice, you guys can go and be all socials with Alice. I won't get jealous. I won't lie, I'm not normally on the Facebook. Facebook is dying at the moment. Not usually on the Facebooks, but we're often on the Twitter. We're often on the Twitter. So next around the clock, we have... Um, we have... Oh, baby, 190. Rachel. Oh, hi! Hello. Same questions. Uh, well, hi, again. My name is Oh, baby, 190, or Rachel. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch.television. And... Um, yeah, you can just find me on the internet doing all kinds of stuff. Variety gaming, Dungeons and Dragons on my channel, Scrat's channel, Madame's channel, everywhere I can. Um, and doing D&D uh, &D art every Thursday. Um, and I play Sophie, and I think my favorite part, aside from the blanket, <laughs> it's the blanket bit, which is really good, um, was definitely I, it, Suri and Sophie just like getting into that shower and poor Bob just like, this is not, I don't, this isn't helping me be watchful. Like I can't watch like this. I think that was, that was definitely very observant. Like, that is observant. I mean, like, I can't watch like this. That's very true, you know, <laughs> in a weird way. Um, so I think that was definitely my, I think every single week, my favorite parts are just Bob. I just really like Bob. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Bob is gone. So, Bob's great, but yeah, I, I'm I'm excited to hopefully, hopefully next week. I don't, 
I want everything to become more clear, but I have a sinking feeling we're just going to get more confused. <laughs> so, whew. thank you for the game, Scrat, and thank you to everyone else for playing. It was fun. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so next around, we have the wonderful A. Kelly Lane, who plays Talia. Hi. Um, Same question. <clears throat> yeah, so um, you can find me on Twitter at A. Kelly Lane. Um, I don't really use Twitch myself, but I magically pop up in all sorts of different channels really randomly. <laughs> um, so if you want to catch more of me, keep watching here Tuesdays, and then uh, keep an eye on my Twitter. Um, I will... I do have a few other plans with on um, the other Docs channel, doing some spoopy Halloweeny stuff the last couple Sundays this fall. Um, so I'll be there later in the month, or, or less a couple Sundays this October. So I'll be there later in the month. Um, my favorite part of today: a hard tie between the image in my head of Bob standing on a church pew. <laughs> And that really wonderful moment where Suri was comforting Sophie mm. after she was freaking out. I thought mm. that was a really touching moment. I really appreciated that. I like that we, uh, we've had a lot of fun here, but I like that we are both having a lot of goofy fun and, and getting to have some feels. Yeah. Wasn't that just so wholesome? <laughs> yes. It was, it was so wholesome. And like, like, between the laughing and the wholesome, warm, and cuddly, we're doing everything we can to defeat, like, <laughs> Mis preconceptions about Barovia. <laughs> <laughs> and so, last but most certainly not least, we have Alex or Madam Gandalf. Oh, hi. Same question. Oh, hi. Oh, goodness. Today was a lot of fun. I mean, like as, as we've mentioned, between managing to disarm a vampire with a blanket, to dancing on pews, to treating Talia like my mother to comforting Sophie and that even that whole scene in the shower of having like Talia and Sophie just being like oh oh goodness like blood blood everywhere um yeah really 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 had a lot of fun today and yeah I don't want to be a werewolf man <laughs> I don't, don't want to it was <laughs> It was fun for like a day and like nah nah <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm good now but um <laughs> yeah my, my name is madam gandalf or alex uh you can find me everywhere as madam gandalf um i'm a variety stream streamer and actually on october 12th i'll be doing a spoopy D, &D one shot for charity um as part of a halloween scarathon um event and yeah i i'm really looking forward to that i'm trying something that i haven't ever tried before and it'll only be my second time dming so oh huh, oh huh. nervous but excited <laughs> oh but i was there for the first time you were dming alex and it was incredible so and i know rachel was as well and it was absolutely fantastic so don't even fret like don't even <laughs> Fingers um, crossed, because there's going to be, like, texting involved and things like that, and, um, yeah, I'm trying out something. <laughs> I, I have faith. It'll be amazing. It will. Uh, now, I saw two suggestions for raid uh, things in chat that I liked. Uh, one was Hungry Like the Wolf. The other is Bobby's Suspicious Raid. So in chat, we'll have a one for Hungry Like the Wolf and a two for Bobby's Suspicious Raid. Um, hit them up now whilst I go through my links. Um... Here are my social links. Um, Discord, Twitter, and YouTube. YouTube's catching up quick. Twitter is where you can DM me to get in a game yourself. And Discord is where you can come and find the wonderful community. Um, we also have Patreon and merchandise. Uh, because we are now full-time and rely wholly on your support. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, all of the support today and all of the love for in our way today. That was, like, I think that was about 20 subs and over 150 pounds worth of donations which is just insane so thank you all so so much um incredible incredible um and also you can also support us by visiting our sponsors as well there's their information their thing is over there their little bird in the storm publishing um and they will be creating content for us in the new year um that's about it for me now 
today we are going to go pay a raid to uh, someone who is also streaming for charity. Um, they uh, they are on our Monday night streams, our um, our uh, mouse guard streams. It's Margaret Crone. Um, Twenty five or thirty subs. That's just crazy craziness. Um, so when we get in there, actually before we before we start the raid countdown, let's um, get this in. So we've got the uh, Bob is suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> suspicious. And uh, then we'll have one with um, hypes as well. So if you have the hypes, you can use them. And uh, I know many of you today re got that command. So now there you go. You can now do it with hypes. Um, let's get that. Let's get that going. So we've got. Uh... <coughs> Ooh, there we go. We're heading over to visit Maggie, doing some, uh, doing some, also doing some D and D for charity and part of our uh, mouse, mouse guard crew. Um, we are now full time. We stream Monday to Thursday, 1 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. EST. Each show is three hours. We also do a show at 1 p.m. EST on Fridays, um, which is um, uh, over on the Greyhawk channel, uh, and it's old school Greyhawk stuff. And uh, lastly, at 8 p.m. on Fridays, we do. Um, we do uh, burden <laughs> donkeys are alien lady blackbird so that's also worth checking out um anyway that's it for me guys uh, keep on evoking emotions and we'll see you next week bye, bye.